morning everybody i am sat on what feels like the world's smallest bench because i think people were a lot smaller back then i'm sat in the graveyard of the church in pluckley which is the uk's most haunted village because it's had so many ghost sightings over the years but I'm not ghost hunting today. I am meeting my friend Simon and we are going on a nine mile walk, circular walk from Pluckley to a place called Hothfield Heathland, which is very difficult to say. So I might be spitting that at you a lot today. You are gonna join me for the walk today. Let's get on with the walk. It goes up to the village, I think. Yeah. started our walk we're probably only about a mile in and uh, we've got to this beautiful ridge so there's a big drop off on our left and then the same on our right so it's a good start to the walk there's a few hills which as we know our walkers not that keen on hills but I think if it's at the at the start of the walk then it's okay but if you've got a, a bit of a hilly section at the end of the walk then uh, I won't speak too soon because that might actually happen in a minute but uh, yeah joined by Simon and the first stop on this walk is Little Chart, a little village and um, we're going to see the ruins of a church called St Mary's which was bombed in the Second World War um, and destroyed pretty much so that'll be quite interesting. It is also haunted so who knows what we're going to see there. <laughs> Look at that view. Yep, I'll take it. Stumbled upon this beautiful bluebell wood. Nice little treat on our walk. Look at this, people have come along to have their photo taken on this stump and they've trampled all these bluebells just so they can get the perfect Instagram photo. Outrageous. Oh my goodness, what was that? Did you guys see that? It's definitely a ghost from there. Hello? Super scary. Oh, oh no, oh, it's just Simon. Oh, view. View. Oh. That was like that was like the third take, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> This is the ruins of St. Mary the Virgin and the Holy Rood Church at Little Chart. It was destroyed by a bouncing bomb or a doodle bug back in the Second World War. 1944, on the 16th of August, a bomb landed. And Simon and I think it will probably happen right in the centre of the church here because all the walls here are missing. It's really fascinating actually because you've got the, um, the tiles still on the floor down there but a new church was built in 1955 and our footpath takes us into little chart now um, and along the river where the new church was built No one actually died when the bomb landed on the church but because of its close vicinity to Pluckley, most haunted village, 
lots of people come here looking for paranormal activity and ghosts. Simon is just hidden around there. He's taking some photos, so I might try and scare him. This could backfire. trying to scare you. Did you know I was did you know I was here? No. Oh that's good. arrived at Hoffield Heathlands. Welcome to Hoffield Heathland. This is actually an area in the Heathland called the Triangle. Um, we've walked through the main bit of the heathland up here where the car park is because we're trying to find the highland cows and we've just spotted some this is where the handy little signpost down there told us that they were and they are here they haven't moved <laughs> they're surrounded by three roads so they can't go that far scratch get it A selfie just turn around you can be on YouTube no? all right then where's the bog I'm gonna try and find the bog Good point. <laughs> Oh, it's muddy. I think we found the bog. Yeah. Spotted the viewing platform. Let's see what we can see from here. Ah, oh, yes. More bog. 
thoroughly enjoying our walk around Hothfield Heathland or Hothfield Common because there used to be a common bit of land in the middle here and um, we've just walked through the bogs and they are the four bogs that are remaining in Kent are here also Heathland is in decline and the UK is a stronghold for Heathland there's 20% of the European lowland Heathland in the UK so it's really important to protect these areas that are on the decline more rare than tropical rainforests so um, it's really beautiful to be able to walk through here and see that it is looked after and managed and maintained by the Kent Wildlife Trust and also the local council as well <laughs> Murky water, crocodiles. Oh, that's a little treat. I didn't think we we're going to see you guys. They're hiding. Oh, yes. Conic ponies doing their thing. I'm back here, it's the end of the walk and I thought I'd come and say goodbye to you where I started on the world's tiniest bench. Thank you for joining me today on this wonderful walk and also thank you to Simon who is my reccing friend and has joined me on a few reccees over the last year. It was, as you will have seen, a wonderful walk and so unique to explore Hoffield, Heathland and an area which I didn't know about until recently and it is a complete hidden gem with an abundance of nature and wildlife and lots to be seen and when I take the group back there in the summer or in the next few months there'll be, um, there'll be a lot more to see as well some dragonflies and other insects as well i hope that wherever you are in the world you can get out and explore your local footpaths and you can go for a walk you can go on an adventure and you can be a wild native see you again soon